is there more to be considered where well groomed is concerned what more does it take to be well groomed the missing factor is etiquette etiquette refers to guidelines which control the way a responsible individual should behave in the society it helps individuals behave in a socially responsible way as they say etiquette transforms a person into a superior individual etiquette teaches you the way to talk walk and most importantly how to behave in the society proper corporate business etiquette is vital to our professional growth no matter how brilliant an employee may be his or her lack of social grace can be detrimental etiquette serves as a guideline to do things right it helps in creating a good first impression the way you interact with your superiors parents fellow workers friends speaks a lot about your personality and your upbringing at the workplace good etiquette significantly reduces communication issues it helps in building good relationships which of course reduces stress it is great for commercial importance with clients it results in a better work culture in this module we'll speak about different types of etiquette like interview etiquette guidelines how to enter the interview room then we have the table etiquette then etiquette for greeting remember in some cultures it is all right to greet by hugging shaking hands is quite acceptable in latin and american countries in india it is usually namaste or bowing by shaking hands in india and certain other countries business cards are accepted with both hands always carry 4 to 5 cards in your front shirt pocket to avoid exposing your wallet and inaccessible space in your handbag business cards should never be crumpled remember they are your identity and you should learn how to respect them next comes etiquette table manners do not play with table utensils or things placed on the table talk to the point and don't talk when you eat it is definitely not a good sight keep your mouth shut while you eat and don't make a lot of noise never leave the table abruptly always use spoons while eating as far as possible never waste your food that shows that you do not have respect for that food let's take a quick quiz on your dining etiquette first you find a hair in your food what would you do you show the stand of hair to everyone present call for the server and yell at him quietly ask for the food to be replaced what will you do the correct answer is quietly ask for the food to be replaced if you create a scene there scream shout it shows you're extremely immature and unprofessional let's look at a scenario number 2 you accidentally spill drink on your colleague's expensive sari what will you do apologize and try to clean the stain with a napkin apologize and act as if nothing has really gone wrong or the last one apologize and offer to pay for professional laundering can you think of an answer which one would be correct well the right answer is apologize and offer to pay for professional laundering next let us speak about punctuality never be late for business meetings it can be somewhat acceptable in india but it is frowned upon in the western countries plan early leave early and arrive early let's learn about social etiquette remember social codes should be followed and they shouldn't discriminate between individuals remember your elevator manners email etiquette telephone etiquette and personal hygiene 
all these topics will be of great importance once you step into the corporate world read about them and find out ask friends if there is a gap somewhere that you can fill up let's take a quick quiz on your social etiquette first you receive an email with all capital letters what does it tell you about the person and what does the message suggest second you find an elderly woman saddled with a lot of luggage trying to enter the elevator but you are on your way to your workplace what will you do there third you've to meet a prospective client at 10:30 am as usual you leave your residence at 10:30 am and due to the traffic reach 45 minutes late for the meeting what kind of an impression is created about you in the client's mind number 4 you carry a handbag that is stuffed with things you reach your workplace and you delve into your bag to fish out a small ball point and all your things spill out leading to an embarrassing situation what does this reveal about you as an individual number 5 A business associate has not turned up for a business lunch. Even after half an hour the scheduled time. Is it appropriate for you to order lunch and go ahead with it? Remember these questions are all about common sense. All of us have been blessed with that. Think about these questions. and you will find these answers yourself some answers that you do not find read about them speak to your seniors who are already working in the corporate sector and you are bound to find the right answers one most important thing where business etiquette is concerned is to show respect to everyone around you Once your interview gets over, promptly send a thank you note after your interview. This is a must on your job interview etiquette list. Not only is this a common courtesy, but it also keeps your name in front of those who interviewed you. One key word to remember where business etiquette is concerned is respect for all people that you meet. and you'll be able to create that important first impression and a lasting impression all the best